Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and welcome to the Monroe County Sheriff's Office Annual Awards Ceremony. My name is Captain Pat Rojas. It is my pleasure to welcome you to today's ceremony. On behalf of Sheriff Todd Baxter and all the members of the MCSO, thank you for being here today to show your support and for celebrating with us as we recognize the outstanding achievements of these members of the Sheriff's Office. At this time, I would ask everyone to please stand and join in a moment of silence for our two fellow officers who paid the ultimate sacrifice in Syracuse yesterday evening. Please remain standing at the Sheriff's Honor Guard accompanied by the Gates Keystone Club Police and Drums present our national colors. We are also honored to have Deputy Kelly Belvasori who will be singing the national anthem. I will ask that all uniformed personnel please follow the command of the Honor Guard. Honor Guard present colors. dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly swinging and the rockets are regular the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave Please remain standing as I invite MCSO Chaplain Deputy Kevin Cudby to the stage who will offer today's invocation. Let us first, Heavenly Father. 
Father, we welcome you tonight to celebrate the special accomplishment of the Feast of Holy Bread, that you celebrate when we always remember what it took to complete the mission of your community church. May we always strive to better our community by our decisions and our actions. We give you thanks for our time together to celebrate your ascension and your coming blessing. In the great name of Jesus Christ, amen. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. I want to thank you for joining us today as we acknowledge those that are being recognized for their accomplishments. The Sheriff's Office formal awards process for the recipients being recognized today actually began several months ago when we started collecting written nominations, often these nominations are submitted by the employee supervisor, subordinate, or even a peer who finds it extremely important that the great work being accomplished be recognized in a more formal way. Those written nominations are submitted to the awards committee, which is comprised of both sworn and civilian members from every bureau. The committee refu reviews the nominations and makes recommendations to the sheriff based upon the awards criteria. Often, the process of selecting award winners can be very challenging as there are usually several very deserving candidates. Out of almost 1,100 members, there are several who do outstanding work on a daily basis and also deserve to be recognized. As we, as we read the award citations today, you will see just how the caliber of people working for the Sheriff's Office truly are. Now, I'd like to introduce our honored guests, as well as members of the Sheriff's Office command staff who are here with us today. Monroe County Sheriff Todd Baxter, County Executive Adam Velas, Under Sheriff Corey Brown, Chief Deputy Michael Fowler, Jail Superintendent Maurice Leone, Commander Sam Bell, Chief of the Court Bureau Dale Earns, Chief of the Civil Bureau Bill Gambale, Major of Police Operations Jeff Wagner, Major of Jail Administration Ed Quenzer, and Major of Jail Operations James McGowan. I would also like to recognize the local chiefs of police who are he here in attendance today, as well as the Honorable Robert Connor, members of the Sheriff's Foundation, SOAR, and members of the Sheriff's Citizen Interaction Committee. As always, we thank you for your continued support. At this time, I would like to welcome County Executive Adam Bellos to the podium for his remarks. Good afternoon. Thank you, Captain. It is really an honor and privilege to stand here today among the brave men and women who we entrust to keep our community safe. It's a particular pleasure to serve side by side with our Sheriff Todd Baxter, Under Sheriff uh, Corey Brown. Thank you for your leadership and for what you do to keep our community safe. I am really just incredibly proud uh, to be able to work uh, with each and every one of you as you fulfill your mission to help protect the health and safety of our community. Our Sheriff's Office is essential to the health, safety, and well-being of this community. And uh, for your work, uh, I want to say thank you. Your calling is noble, and your sacrifice is real. Last night was a stark reminder of the sacrifice that our law enforcement officers and their families make every day. What should have started as a routine traffic stop resulted in the murder of a Syracuse police officer and an Onondaga County Sheriff last night. Our hearts are broken, and our prayers and sympathies go out to the families of those officers, their departments, and their communities. The burden we ask you to carry is heavy. 
I am part of a law enforcement team. My brother serves in the Rochester Police Department. I know the anxiety this job can cause someone to be in that shoes. But I also know the pride that it brings with it. I look around this room and I see the bravery and heroism in each of you. You get up every day, you put on your uniform, you pin on your badge, you often don a bulletproof vest, and you dedicate your life to making a difference. My wife and I are both public servants. We chose careers to give back to our community and to make it a better place. And as we raise, as we choose career, er, I'm sorry, as we raise our children, we hope to instill the same values in them, a desire to put their community over themselves. That is a trait that all of you, our law enforcement officers, have in abundance. You are role models for our community because while we ask all public servants to serve our community to the best of their ability, for those of you who chose to enter law enforcement, we ask more of you. We ask you to show up when we need help. We ask you to solve problems that are both big and small. And we ask if you need that you put yourself in harm's way to protect others. And you do that, and on behalf of every Monroe, on, on every on behalf of every Monroe County resident, I want to thank you for rising to that challenge every day. It's a difficult job. At times, it's a dangerous job, and it's sometimes even a thankless job. A lot of times, I think about social media. Um, you know, you go on Twitter, you go on Facebook, and you look at the way people treat each other. It's easy to sit back and look at that and think, man, this society just hates each other. You know, put one group of people against another group of people and say things back and forth. But I want to remind you of something. The vast majority of people are good, they are kind, and they are oh so grateful to each and every one of you. They know what you do for this vile community. And that's why we're celebrating you today. This ceremony is to recognize those who went above and beyond for their service. The awards given today recognize individuals for exemplifying the core values of this, depart of this office. Those receiving awards have saved lives, they performed true acts of heroism, and they made a real and lasting difference in the lives of others. These awards reflect the, our appreciation for your commitment to this community. They recognize single acts of heroism or a lifetime of selfless acts over the course of an exemplary career. So it's my privilege to speak on behalf of 750,000 residents in Monroe County who you serve, and I want to say thank you. I appreciate you, we appreciate you, and we stand with you. So congratulations, thank you, and God bless you and your family. Thank you, Executive Bell. I would like now to invite the Sheriff, Todd Baxter, to the podium to offer a few remarks. First of all, I would like to start out and echo a lot of what the current executive said, but first I wanna thank him. Uh, I'm waiting in support of law enforcement. We chose to have a conversation that's kind of been held over years of, of uh, what we've gone through in this field of law enforcement. And He's been a supporter all the way along the, the trip. Uh, and I also must recognize a very important chief of the Monroe Law Department, our current executive, my wife Mary, who's sitting there next to me, and uh, I wanted to say thank you to her. It's, it's as precious that my wife joins the, the career with us and is part of these ceremonies of the good and bad in our community's with us, and also it's one of those days that we recognize heroism and how people show service. And so I appreciate my bride being here. And that's what we're here to talk about today. There are heroes and servants amongst us. I want to think about what we're recognizing today. Uh, today we recognize just a few of these folks. There's over 1,100 employees in the Sheriff's Office in just the six months. We think of that today. We miss them. The real nominations don't come through. Or the people just do great work and do extra special things behind the scenes. And it just doesn't come to our attention. But we realize that just the six months of the awesome work done by Monroe County Sheriff's deputies and employees throughout the year. And I just want to see a small snapshot of that today. But these are the ones we will recognize. And it's right for us to recognize them. You are doing your service again today by standing up under the podium because we're telling the community what we cherish and what we need. We're telling the community that selfless acts are commitment. We're telling that service is part of the other human beings. This is what we should be doing. 
we don't champion ourselves, who's going to champion us? So we appreciate you again coming up here. I know Pastor Mike is needing such a lead in this corner. Just for everybody else that has stepped into this role, to be a pawn, to the pawn and help look at what mobility looks like. So maybe they follow us here at Bluff Point. And so it's important that we do these things. It's also important that we recognize the painful cost of law enforcement. Although today we celebrate, we will not forget the sacrifice of soldiers. These gentlemen went to work to serve their community. Their families are mind broken. They were young boys and they went to work. That's who we are. That's the nobility. That's the service to the society. And no one will ever hold that against us. And I'll tell you one thing. No one ever tells us that's part of our job description. That's part of BS. We don't give up our life for part of our job description. We give up our life for service to our community. So with that being said, it is an awesome opportunity for us to get together, if you will, recognize the great hero heroism, recognize the empathy, recognize the service you're going to hear great stories about, recognize people right on that edge of giving it all and standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with an armed individual or cutting someone down from a jail or maybe serving time, maybe a bad person for serving time. I don't know. But they still go to that jail cell, cut the person in line, perform CPR, and save an individual that's even incarcerated because they're important, they're human beings. They may be incarcerated today, but we look at them as human beings also. And whatever happened in their life to get them in jail, these guys risked a lot just to help other people get incarcerated. That's what we're talking about today. There's nobility, service, and sacrifice. So I'm so looking forward to standing here on stage with the rest of the pawn staff and having families recognize and see what your loved one does for a living. Uh, so with that being said, I'll stop right here. But uh, it's just so important that we all come together. It's so important that families are here. And it's so important that we recognize just a few of the 1,100 community employees that we have. So God bless you, and thanks for joining us. Thank you, Sheriff Baxter. I would like to call upon the following members of the Sheriff's Command staff to join the Sheriff on stage. Under Sheriff Corey Brown, Deputy Chief Michael Fowler, Superintendent Maurice Leone, Commander Sam Bell, Chief Del Earn, and Chief Phil Dumbado. At this time, I would like to invite to the stage Monroe County Sheriff's Office Director of Communications, Amy Young, who will be narrating the actions of each award recipient. Thank you, Captain. And welcome again, everyone, to this special occasion, celebrating many of our deserving deputies, professional staff, and community members Congratulations again to all of this year's award winners. Let us begin with the Civilian Service Award and Lieutenant Retired Edna Craven, who unfortunately could not be with us today. Would Ms. Craven's daughter, Brenda Craven, please come forward. Lieutenant Craven began her career with the Monroe County Sheriff's Office as a matron in the jail by the time she retired on July 17, 1992, she had risen to the rank of lieutenant. Her career was one of honor and distinction, and we recognize her skill, professionalism, and leadership. She was both the highest ranking female in the sheriff's office at the time, as well as the first African American command officer. For some 60 years, Ms. Craven has advocated for safe and affordable housing in our community, and that is why we are here honoring her today. Ms. Craven's dedication and desire to improve housing for the underserved exemplifies her love for and continued service to our community. It is with great pride and deep gratitude that Ms. Craven is presented with the Civilian Service Award on behalf of our community we thank her for a career of selfless service.
with threat analyst Molly Rowe. Please report to the sheriff. The sheriff's commendation ribbon is given in recognition of your devotion to duty, volunteering to assist with the double initial murders investigation. Beginning your career as a criminal justice intern, you were tasked in a clerical support role, providing records management support. You would then be hired as a threat analyst and continue to work tirelessly on this case. You volunteered to take on the daunting responsibility of organizing some 3,500 pages of reports and investigations, and you created a detailed listing of all potential subjects, which led to follow-up interviews by sheriff's deputies. Your attention to detail, diligence in completing tasks, and drive to assist in solving this tragic case is the definition of devotion to duty. It is hoped that someday the families of these three young victims will experience closure, and when that day comes, it will be in no small measure due in part to your work. Congratulations, Molly. You are awarded the Sheriff's Commendation Ribbon for your hard work, tenacity, and dedication. <laughs> Would the following personnel please report to the Sheriff? Lieutenant Jeffrey Ingham, Sergeant Stephen Barrett, Sergeant Jonathan Schultz, Deputy Josue Fontanez, Deputy Katie Levy, and Deputy Shirley Pipkins. These individuals are accepting a Sheriff's Commendation Ribbon along with the following men and women, Deputy Roderick Kennedy, Deputy David Carter, Deputy Daniel Giblin, Deputy Paul Elias, Deputy Robert Newton, Deputy Matthew Shegg, Deputy Lisa Sieben, Deputy Sarah Hartung, and Deputy James Exton. During a meeting of the Monroe County Legislature on December 12th of last year, several community members were given the opportunity to address the legislature when shouting and chanting erupted, necessitating sheriff's deputies to take actions to safeguard members of the legislature, staff members, and citizens. Deputies established a line standing between the crowd and the gallery and the legislative body. Deputies were then positioned throughout the county office building and successfully guided the crowd from the building and prevented re-entry. Your actions were successful in preventing this potentially volatile situation from escalating, and you are all to be commended for your professionalism with the Sheriff's Commendation Ribbon. <laughs> Would the following personnel please report to the Sheriff. Deputy Michael Houlihan, Deputy Jonathan Engelbrecht, Deputy Joseph Corona, Deputy Jordan Rappa, Deputy Philip Fantanza, Deputy Sean Mayo, Deputy Aaron Beach, and Deputy Ryan Burke. The Sheriff's Commendation Ribbon is given in recognition of your devotion to duty for volunteering to assist with the double initial murders investigation. You were tasked with locating persons suspected in these horrendous crimes from 50 plus years ago. Your mission was to not only find the suspects, but to interview them and obtain a DNA sample. In the event a suspect was deceased, it was your responsibility to locate and interview a living family member of the suspect and obtain a DNA sample for familial DNA testing. This mission required determination and investigative and interviewing techniques. You accomplished all of this while performing your regular calls for service. It is greatly appreciated as your efforts may someday help to solve these heinous crimes and bring closure to the families of the three young victims. You are to be commended for your service and dedication to not only this effort, but to the entire community. Would the following personnel please report to the sheriff? Deputy Timothy O'Keefe and Deputy Michael Whithune. 
On July 22nd, 2023, you and your partner, along with the United States Coast Guard, responded to a distress call which involved a boat that had crashed into a jetty in the vicinity of the Irondequoit Pier. The two occupants, although uninjured, were in jeopardy as the boat was taking on water and was in immediate danger of sinking. Working with the Coast Guard, you and your partner successfully maneuvered your craft, which allowed the two occupants to be brought on board your sheriff's vessel. Your combined actions help save the lives of these individuals. Your actions continue to bring great credit upon the Sheriff's Marine Unit and the entire Sheriff's Office, earning you the Sheriff's Commendation Ribbon. <laughs> Will Investigator Derek Smith please report to the Sheriff. The Sheriff's Commendation Ribbon is given in recognition of your tenacious devotion to duty in investigating and solving six separate burglaries in six different jurisdictions. Through excellent police work to include the use of a geofence warrant, you identified two devices that were a potential match with the suspect's movements. This led to CCTV footage, which was instrumental in capturing images of the suspects. Furthermore, a suspect vehicle was also identified. New York State Department of Motor Vehicle Records confirmed the identification of one of the suspects and facial recognition software was employed to assist in the identification of the second suspect. Because of your hard work, keen investigatory skills and determination, these suspects were brought to justice, not only closing your case, but open cases with six other agencies. You are to be commended for your diligence, professionalism, and skill. We award you the Sheriff's Commendation Ribbon. <laughs> Would the following personnel please report to the Sheriff. Corporal Christopher Massaro and Deputy Greg Wheelahan. The Sheriff's Commendation Ribbon is given in recognition of your devotion to duty and excellence in the performance of those duties. On November 17, 2023, through intelligence gathered, it was learned an incarcerated individual was in possession of contraband. This intelligence led to the search of the incarcerated individuals as well as his cell by both you and your partner. While the search of the individual yielded negative results, precautions were initiated should he have ingested the contraband. A search of the cell did yield significant quantities to include drugs and drug paraphernalia. Your proactive actions and those of your partner once again have had a positive impact on the health and safety of not only staff, but those entrusted to the care and custody of the sheriff. You are to be commended for your actions and your keen attention to detail, thus awarded the Sheriff's Commendation Ribbon. <laughs> Would the following personnel please report to the Sheriff. Sergeant Allen Wills, Deputy Michael Amico, Deputy Peter Mofardin, and Deputy Michael Protz. The Sheriff's Commendation Ribbon is given in recognition of your devotion to duty in your responsibilities as a member of the Jail Bureau Maintenance and Project Management Department. This team has worked tirelessly over many long hours to ensure improvements and projects are completed in the jail, often in the most challenging of conditions. From fire safety to technology changes and upgrades to improving and maintaining the physical plant, all completed in the demanding environment of a correctional setting. This team has consistently met or exceeded delivery and performance expectations, thus improving operations and safety for not only staff, but the safety of those in the care and custody of the sheriff. Each of you is to be commended for your devotion to duty, your professionalism, and your individual expertise. For that, you are each awarded the Sheriff's Commendation Ribbon. Would the following personnel please report to the Sheriff. Sergeant Robert Rozier, Corporal Philip Whitehair, Deputy Thomas Baird, Deputy John Salamone, 
and Deputy George Colicchio. On September 7th, 2023, a code blue was initiated for an unresponsive incarcerated individual. The person was not breathing and responding personnel began rescue breathing and chest compressions. The effort in reviving the individual required a team response, taking turns at performing CPR while monitoring the man's vital signs. Supervising deputies then administered Narcan for a total of three doses before the individual began responding and breathing on his own. He was transported to the hospital for treatment and observation. Upon his return to the jail, he was placed on medical observation. The heroic actions taken that evening undoubtedly saved the man's life and speaks volumes to the level of training and care that you all display for a human's life. For this, please accept the life-saving award. <laughs> Would the following personnel please report to the sheriff? Deputy Daniel Michelli, Deputy Robert Davis, and Deputy Todd Tebow. On May 12th, 2023, you responded to a code blue indicating that an incarcerated individual was attempting self-harm. Deputies rushed to the cell and did indeed notice the individual was in peril. Working as a team, the individual was eventually freed from his current position and placed in a bed in recovery until medical personnel arrived. The victim was transported to the hospital and made a full recovery. The actions taken by all of you and other first responders saved the life of this individual. For that, you are awarded the Life Saving Award. Will Deputy James Champagne please report to the sheriff? On July 15, 2023, while on your security tour in the Monroe County Jail, you observed an incarcerated individual in immediate peril, attempting self-harm. Taking immediate action, you called a code blue for assistance. After making an attempt to free the individual from his current position, you reached through the bars and successfully freed the individual, saving his life. You then entered the cell and observed that the man was breathing. The individual began speaking. He was transported to the hospital for treatment. Your swift actions prevented the incarcerated individual from further harm and ultimately saved his life. You are to be commended not only for your actions, but for your compassion for fellow human beings. Congratulations on receiving the Life Saving Award. <laughs> Would the following personnel please report to the Sheriff? Deputy Christopher Piper and Deputy Eric Thomas. On July 5th, 2023, you and your fellow deputy were dispatched to a residence in the town of Henrietta for an unresponsive person. Upon your arrival, you and your partner began performing life-saving measures to include CPR until EMS personnel arrived. The individual did begin breathing, and through your combined actions, the individual survived. You are to be commended for your life-saving actions that day. Your training and professionalism are in the highest traditions of law enforcement and first responders. We present you with the Life Saving Award. <laughs> Would the following personnel please report to the Sheriff, Deputy Shannon Woods and Deputy Jacob Mangano. On the afternoon of July 3rd, 2023, while on an unscheduled security tour in the Monroe County Jail, a code blue was initiated for an incarcerated individual attempting self-harm. With your responding partner, you worked together to save the person's life. Together, you were able to free the individual from his current position, allowing him to become responsive and breathing on his own, saving his life. If not for the immediate actions taken by you and your partner, the outcome would have been tragic. You are to be commended for your care and compassion 
as well as your professionalism, earning the life-saving award. <laughs> Will Corporal Christopher Massaro please report to the Sheriff. The Distinguished Service Medal is awarded in recognition and in the deepest appreciation for your outstanding performance of duty. Your mentoring of subordinates stands out amongst your peers. Your continued desire to improve operations in the jail has led to significant procedural changes that have facilitated logistical processes. Your dedication for the welfare of incarcerated individuals is notable. It is with deep respect that you are recognized for these efforts with the Distinguished Service Medal. <laughs> Will Deputy Nicholas Mahoney please report to the Sheriff. The Distinguished Service Medal is awarded in recognition and in appreciation for your outstanding performance of duty. On July 18, 2023, you were dispatched to a call for a suicidal man. While you were escorting the ambulance to the hospital, the man exited the back of the ambulance that had come to a stop. He climbed over a guardrail on the Route 441 overpass bridge to Panorama Trail and attempted to jump onto Panorama Trail some 35 feet below. As you observed him exiting the ambulance, you also got out of your patrol vehicle and reached for the man, grabbing him, preventing his attempt to jump. As you reached for him, you did so at great risk to yourself and your own safety. Your actions taken that evening are indicative of the sacrifices first responders exhibit every day. Congratulations on receiving the Distinguished Service Medal. <laughs> Would the following personnel please report to the Sheriff. Sergeant Christian Devinney, Deputy Alexandra Baker, and Deputy Clayton Hilliger. On March 20th, 2023, while assigned to a multi-jurisdictional detail to protect our community and apprehend violent criminals, you and your partner deputies tracked down a suspect who had been terrorizing our community with his reckless behavior. The man endangered several citizens by recklessly shooting into businesses. That morning, the man shot at an occupied vehicle, then led law enforcement officers on a high-speed pursuit and was able to evade arrest. Knowing that the individual was armed and dangerous and his actions were increasing in violence, you answered the call. You began to set surveillance on his house when the man hastily exited the home. When confronted, he led law enforcement on a foot chase through a dense city of Rochester neighborhood where an elementary school was located, putting our community at risk. You were faced with an extremely dangerous situation. Ultimately, the man pointed a shotgun at law enforcement and deadly physical force had to be utilized. You acted in accordance with your training, expertise, and the law. On what was one of the most difficult and stressful days of your career, you did as you were trained in the name of public safety. Your bravery that day likely saved lives. Your actions and those of your partner deputies and law enforcement officers are to be commended as each of you demonstrated the utmost courage and professionalism. The Meritorious Conduct Medal you are being awarded is presented for heroic actions under extraordinary circumstances. Congratulations and thank you for everything you do.
please join me in one final round of applause for this year's award recipients. <laughs> Finally, I would like to recognize all the hard work and commitment of the members of the awards committee, not only for their work in organizing and preparing the ceremony, but for their year-long commitment to ensure that all the achievements our members accomplish receive the appropriate recognition. At this time, would you please rise for the benediction offered by MCSO Chaplain, Deputy Kevin Cudney. <clears throat> Dear Lord, thank you for this time. As we go forward to perform our sworn duties, keep us safe, keep us on guard, and keep us ready for the dangers that come with this profession. Guide us with your wisdom and bring us safely home to our loved ones. In your holy name, amen. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's ceremony. We have light desserts and refreshments for everyone in the rear of the theater. Thank you for coming.